Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jonathan and in today's video I wanted to show you a couple of wallets from a new company, to me at least, called Wayfinder. So Wayfinder are a new supplier to me. I've not come across them before and they sent me two wallets. One is called the Daybreaker and the other is the Flux. Let's have a look at the Daybreaker first. So this is a bifold wallet. The size of wallet I currently carry, like this Bellroy Slim Sleeve, as you can see, is quite a bit smaller. And that's the size I prefer to carry because that will go in my jeans front pocket. Whereas this is really more of a back pocket wallet. The material is quite interesting. It feels rubbery. It's got a kind of um, texture to it. It's a TPU polyester. TPU stands for thermopolymer urethane, whatever that is. The good thing about it is if you put it in your back pocket, it's not going to come out that easily. So it's going to be hard for somebody to whip it out your pocket. That's probably a good thing, I would say. You'll see the seams here don't have any stitching. They're in fact welded using a high frequency or radio frequency welding system. And that's where the, the two elements are effectively merged into one. And a combination of this material and the lack of stitching means that the profile can be really thin. And that's one of the real strengths of this wallet. When empty, this is about five millimeters in thickness. When you open it up, you'll see we've got two pockets here and a single pocket here. This pocket is obviously good for cash. And then the two pockets at the front here are for cards. There are a couple of pinch points there. That must be part of the manufacturing process that takes away from it a little bit. But other than that, I think it feels quite nice. And if you're into black and minimalist, then this might be for you. These will take quite a few cards. Because of the rubberized material, they are quite hard to pull out, or if you're looking for a positive, uh, hard to lose. So there we have eight cards, and, and that goes in really easily. And then obviously you can fit in some cash, and that goes in there easily. If you had a boarding card, then that would also fit in there. So this material is kind of a double-edged sword for me. It holds things really well, um, but it also means it's a little bit harder to get in and out. But if you're a fan of this form factor, then it is a pretty cool wallet, I would say. The other wallet they sent me, I actually prefer. This is called the Flux, and this is truly a minimalist wallet. And it consists of two pockets and a center compartment. Again, it's welded rather than sewn using the same radio frequency welding technique. It's the same material, so it's got texture. And yeah, this is a true minimalist wallet. So for me, the center compartment is where I would put some cash. I don't carry a lot of cash. I tend to use it for emergencies only. I prefer to use cards. And if I put in two cards on each side, then you have a very minimal carry and I do like that. It's extremely thin. It'd be hard to get a wallet much thinner than that. And because of the size, it will be good for front pocket carry as well. They also sent me one other item which I really like. It doesn't look much, but this is an RFID blocker or NFC blocker. So Usually, if you've got a wallet that's shielded against RFID interception, it normally has a metal plate covering the card. And this works in a different way. When a reader gets close to this, there's a coil in here that picks up the electromagnetic radiation, provides some power to a chip that's built in here. The chip then transmits a disruptive signal that stops your other cards being read. So it's what you would call an active blocker or an active shield. This could go in any wallet. So if you've got a wallet that doesn't have blocking, then you can just buy a card like this and it should block your cards from being read by a portable reader against your knowledge. So just to give you an idea on pricing, the uh, Flux wallet, the minimal card wallet is around $36. The Daybreaker, 
the bifold is about $50. And then the Glitch RFID blocking card is around $7. They do a couple of other items as well, like a passport cover or notebook cover. Check out their website. It's wayfindercarry.com. You'll see there's a lot of effort gone into the design and a lot of care gone into the quality and construction, which I really like. The company's based in Portland, in Oregon, manufacturing uh, in China. So they have it, a couple of wallet options from Wayfinder. If you found that useful, please hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next one.